Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here to kind of go over a few things uh, when it comes to efficiency. As you know, when you are recording, uh, playing back simultaneous tracks, it's very taxing on your computer system. So you need to make sure you have loads of space available. So always make sure that you have uh, at least half of the gigabytes available in your computer ready to go. It's not for you to fill. It's just for having it in case you download a large video to edit, a lot of tracks to edit. You need that space for logic and the programs to breathe. Okay, so you can also have an external hard drive, of course, where you can work off of that as an extension of your computer. So you save and open program save and open tracks here and you're downloading and recording tracks to your hard drive not to your computer hard drive i personally do not work like that um, because i like to edit sometimes while i'm in watching a tv in another room right so that's just my personal preference i know i should work that way the first way um, but that's up to you if you have a dedicated space where you're always there that's a different story uh, you should also have um this program, it's called Clean My Mac, and Clean My Mac allows uh, this program to do a deep scan, and it finds malware, adware, viruses. Yes, your Mac can be infected with viruses, and it finds gigs and gigabytes to be freed up from all the unnecessary logs and uh, just things that get dumped on your computer that you don't need. I'm talking six gigabytes after a few weeks of using your computer can build up. It does for me. So that software is very useful. Clean my Mac. Um, I went to this tab here about this Mac to show you guys just how old my computer really is, 2014. It runs okay because I have gotten it serviced. And another thing is that I also try to maintain the hard drive. I try to keep it open and empty as much as possible. I have also upgraded the memory at one point. Um, when my computer was being serviced, I might as well uh, thought to upgrade the memory at that point, which allows processing power uh, to work in tandem, I think, with how fast and th so there's no connectivity issues. Okay, uh, speaking of connectivity issues, I had a lot of problems with my computer just disconnecting, shutting down, stopping, and stuttering. So here's what we're going to do now. Oh, by the way, one more thing. Here in the software update here, do not allow your computer to update its software by itself. Press on this here, and it's going to say Upgrade Now, okay? It's also going to come up in a notification section in the top right-hand corner of your screen. It's going to say Upgrade to a new operating system. Do not do that. It will cause you problems, okay? When a new program comes out, you do not have to upgrade to it. Do not do it. It's full of bugs, and it will cause problems for your other programs, which is why I had to downgrade, and I don't want to upgrade this. It's very scary. Keep this unchecked. Automatically keep my Mac up to date. You will tell the computer when to update. Don't let the computer do it for you. Press Advanced here. You will see that download new updates when available is unchecked. I have done that because I will download it when I see fit. You can check for updates automatically, but do not install it on your own. I also have here install system data files and security updates checked. Um, you can update security files separately from things like Big Sur or the next big operating system, okay? You can upgrade certain parts. I'm fine with installing new security updates. I'm not okay with upgrading the new, the new software without me knowing it. I've made that mistake before. Okay, so go to uh, the Apple icon here and go to System Preferences. System Preferences is a place where you can adjust your trackpad, how fast it responds to your fingers. Uh, click on all these and adjust them the way you see fit. You can also go to Mouse, and I recommend you know adjusting how it feels because you'll be using your mouse and your fingers a lot in Logic. So make sure it's to your liking, the touch sensitivity, how fast it moves, all very important. Now, here's another thing that you can do to make sure that your computer is not going to be disrupted as you're recording, which is very, very annoying. You want to go to Energy Saver here. 
This thing changes every time the computer is updated, but here is an energy saver. And you will see here that the automatic graphic switching is checked. And right now I'm plugged into a power adapter. I do not want my display turned off until after an hour. That's just my personal preference. I don't want the computer trying to shut down as I'm recording. Okay, you'll see here that my um, check boxes are put like this. So go ahead and copy my settings if you wish. I do not want my hard drive to go to sleep as I'm recording something. It probably won't, but just in case. Okay, on the battery, I have it set to very short to uh, go to sleep. I don't record without making sure my computer's plugged in. So this one doesn't really matter to me as much. So what did we talk about today? Making sure your computer is efficient, has lots of space, you can free up space using Clean My Mac, and also upgrading to the RAM that you want in the future if you want to. Also using your mouse, setting the preferences for that, also very handy to look into. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now we're finally going to go into logic and play with some loops.